guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally back. I am so happy to be back. I have been gone the last month because I've been really trying to get into a program, not a program, but into more of a routine. Um, I've been trying to make sure I'm eating healthy, I'm cooking, I'm like doing stuff I like haven't done in a really long time for myself and it feels so so amazing just to finally be able to be like okay I can finally like sit down and film these videos for you guys I'm so happy to be back um, everything just seems to be working out right now and I hope it stays this way for a while but anyway so I promise I am going to be filming more tutorials more videos for you guys um, I'd really like to know what you guys want to see from me um, in these next videos coming up um, just leave down below in the comments what you want to see um, and I will try my best to create what you want me to create. Anyway, let's get back to what this video is about. So this is my basic um, everyday go-to makeup. It, it's seriously the easiest thing in the world. This is my favorite go-to look right now. So if you want to see how to get this look, please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you like it and also leave me comments of what you want to see next. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. I already did my brows, so now I'm gonna do my foundation. So I'm gonna use two L'Oreal True Match foundations. I'm like, I'm at a weird color right now, but I'm using W5 and W6. I used to take this on my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. This is the F80. Oh, I totally forgot to prime my face. I'm gonna take Benefit Pore Professional as my primer. A little bit of this, like a fingertip amount, so like this much. I said I'm taking this on a Sigma flat top kabuki brush and I'm just going to buff this into my skin. And see that kind of works. When I do my foundation I make sure I blend down into my neck because even if it's not a perfect match, blending it down into your neck will make it match a little more to your to the rest of your face so it just doesn't look weird so you want to make sure you blend it down so also you want to make sure you blend back into your hairline as well because if you don't then you're just going to get like a line and it's just going to look like cake face and cake face is not cute unless like actually no cake face is never acceptable I'm just going to make sure I have everything blended in everywhere to my hairline down to my neck just so everything looks good so next thing I'm gonna do is my concealer um if you've been following my channel you know I always start with my eyes first but since this is just gonna be like an easy basic like makeup but since I'm not really putting anything on my eyes I figured I'd just start with my face first just going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is shade NW25. This is actually probably really similar to my um, skin tone, but that's okay. I'm like, I don't know, I've never been this color before. I'm always like really bronzy and like, I don't, I don't know. Probably because I didn't go out very much in the summer. Um, so I, when I do my concealer, I just go down in this triangle and I don't really extend it high up and then whatever is left over I will take onto my eyelid just to kind of prime it. I'm just going to buff my eyelid out with my finger because that's easier right now. And then I'm just going to do the same thing too. To blend out my under eye concealer, 
I am going to use my Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86. And I'm just going to pat this. So what I like to pat, um, because when you pat, you're pushing the product into your skin, whereas swiping, like if you swipe, you're really just taking product away that you want. And this brush does a pretty good job of taking away, like, excess product that you don't really need at the same time it still gets that nice coverage that you want so pat don't swipe everything seems to be blended out and flowing nicely i'm gonna go in with uh another concealer this one's a little bit lighter and this one i'm gonna focus more on highlighting my face because my under eyes are kind of sort of highlighted although it's pretty close to my skin tone they are a little bit highlighted and you don't want just one area of your face highlighted if you're gonna highlight one part you need like it's necessary that you highlight the other parts of your face so it just it doesn't look funny when you're like taking pictures and you just don't have this one area just highlighted i mean if you don't want to do it that's totally okay it's up to you so i'm just going to take my nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade custard and i'm going to put it on my cheekbones right here on the bridge of my nose and a little up here just to give a little more coverage and then also on my chin so it looks a little funny it looks like tribal we'll blend it out and I'm just gonna take a Sigma round kabuki f82 and I'm just gonna pat as well I'm not gonna swipe because I this brush will take away a lot of the extra product I don't really need See how that just kind of makes everything on your face look even and highlighted? That's what we want, girls. And boys too, if you want. Okay, so next thing we want to do is set our under eye concealer and everywhere else we highlighted. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush brush as well as the banana powder from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is my favorite highlighting powder. Um, it just brightens the under eyes and it just makes it look so nice and it, it covers if you want more coverage and it just, it just really brings out that highlight. Our under eyes are set and looking good. Now that I have most of the powder on by my eyes, I am just going to go and set my brows with the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel and this one is in chocolate. So I'm just going to set my brows. And this helps because it keeps it in, keeps your brows in place. Like they will not budge. This is like super glue for your brows. And it also just kind of gives it a little bit of color and fills in any spots that you might have missed with your um, brow pen, pomade, or whatever you use to fill in your brows. So next thing I'm going to do, I am going to bronze my face before I go in and give a light contour. So to bronze my face, I always use, well, not always, but right now I am really loving my Hoola Benefit Bronzer. This is like such a nice universal shade. Anyone can use it, any skin tone. Um, I'm not sure about darker skin tones, like if you're darker than me. Um, I'm not sure if it'll work necessarily on you but anyone that's like my skin tone or below this this is so nice it bronze my face I'm gonna take this Sigma large angled contour and I'm just gonna put this in the powder and then I'm gonna kind of make the fishy face because I want it to be above where my contour is so that it kind of just looks more bronzy
there we go. We are all bronzed up. I don't like to go overboard with bronzer because I mostly like to go overboard with my contour. But that's okay. To contour my face, I'm going to use Java from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And then to contour today, I'm just going to use a Sigma Small Contour. So you can do whatever face you want to contour or like to find where you want to put your contour. I either do the fish face or I go like this and it's like, it's just, it's just one of those things you do. It's one of those weird faces you do just like when you put on mascara, you do the same thing when you contour. So I'm just going to put it in my contour in the hollows of my cheeks right here. Can you see that? You see like what a difference that makes? When you contour, you wanna kinda, you just wanna go where your natural line is because you wanna create that shadow to like really accentuate your cheekbones and make you look like you have like more defined cheekbones than you naturally have. So you just wanna make sure you go in the hollows of where your natural, like the hollows of your natural cheekbones and it'll just accentuate and bring out those cheekbones. So now I'm going to take this e.l.f. Um, well, it's called a stipple brush, but it's a dual fiber brush. And I'm just going to blend everywhere. I put contour or put, yeah, put my contour and bronzer. go and do my blush and this is NYX Mocha blush. This is my favorite blush of all time right now. I'm gonna highlight and to highlight I'm going in with Hourglass Luminous Light. It gives off a very natural glow. Um, it's not super intense. It just it just gives a nice little sheen of shimmer and glow, which is what I like for like more of a simple basic day-to-day -day look. We are highlighted, contoured, blushed, and all that good stuff. So now you have a closer look as to what I'm doing. So I'm just going to take some bronzer and put it on my blending brush. And I'm just going to go in and just blend it in. So now I'm going to go in and tight line up here. That's what it's called, I believe. Actually, no, I know that's what it's called. And to tight line, I'm just going to use this Tarte Skinny Smolder Eye Pencil. This is a really nice black pigmented um, waterproof eyeliner. It's Since I'm doing minimal makeup on my eyes, I want my eyes to look open and awake and like, I just want them to look kind of bigger. My favorite thing to do is put a nude, a nude liner in my waterline.
now I'm going to go in and do my inner corner highlight. This will also help make my eyes appear bigger um, and look more awake um, is by adding a highlight to your inner corner. So what I'm going to use is this one right here and this is Nylon by MAC. This is my favorite shadow to use on my inner corner because I don't know I just like the way it comes out on my inner corner and just makes it look nice and awake. I'm just going to go in and curl my eyelashes. So I'm going to take two mascaras today mostly because I'm not going to be wearing false eyelashes and I just want my eyelashes to kind of be like big and large and look like I have fake eyelashes on but I really don't. So now I'm going to move on to lips because that's the thing I like to say for last. I'm just going to go in with Spice from MAC. Actually, I think I'm going to go in with Subculture from MAC as well. I just feel like this is just too, too, I don't even know. I just feel like this is just too much right now. So I'm just going to go in with Subculture and just kind of dim it down. So that looks way better to me. And my so that's it for my basic everyday makeup look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.